Hello folks, I figured I'd do a, a little real quick video on my portable setup. So I've made a couple modifications, enhancements for using it on my Atlas Pro, which I've been doing for the last uh, month and a half now. And I'm going to be doing it for another month or so uh, because I've got, I've got some interesting projects coming up. So let me let me show you what I've what I've done or how it looks right now. Okay, from this side it looks pretty good. You can see it looks nice and neat. I've got the cables out of the way, so it looks pretty clean. And I've got it on my Atlas Pro, of course. And I've got the dew shields on here. Not dew shields, dew heaters. Uh, this one, dew heater is way too big for it. I, I'll order a smaller one eventually. I just haven't gotten around to it yet. But it does the job. I've actually got a little piece of tape on there holding it in place. Now what's the modification I have? Well, I put a little, one of these little dovetails and I just screwed it on to the bottom of this dovetail. And the reason I did that was so I can hold on to my ASI Air uh, so that's out of the way, and I could still use my my mount for the guide scope, which sits on the top, which works really well, especially with this um, Atlas Pro mount. Now you can see all these cords here; they really haven't been a problem. I've had it doing the Meridian flip and everything with it, and it's been no issues. The reason there's so many cords is because I got my dew heaters. Now I have a, an external uh, Astro Zap dew heater that I've had for years, and that seems to work well. A lot of you might be saying, geez, why don't I use the ASI Air Pro? Well, the reason is because I don't trust the ASI Air Pro, to be honest with you, for putting too much stuff connecting up to it. So this works fine and it's external, so I'm, I'm really happy with the, with the way it works. I've also got my Pegasus Pocket Power Box, and I use a Pocket Power Box for pretty much all my setups. I really love these Pocket Power Boxes. And again, I it, it, I don't have to worry about you over overpowering the ASI Air, so that works out well. And this is a Biznet power supply that supplies the power to the uh, power box, which supplies in turn supplies the power to the ASI Air Pro, and the ASI and, and the power box also supplies supplies power to the mount. And lastly, I've just got my little power strip right here, which this um, business thing plugs into. And lastly, because this is the ASI Air Pro and not the Plus, the Wi-Fi signal is not that good on it. However, I've got one of these these wireless uh, split repeaters, and this thing works great. I I, I can get Wi-Fi signal all through my house with this uh, with this thing which connects directly up to the ASI Air Pro. Okay, that's all I have to say. And if you watch my other videos, you know you, you've seen this before, but not quite like this. And this is because I'm using my, my Atlas Pro. So I had to do a couple other modifications. Okay, well, I think that's all. I just really wanted to show you a real quick video on how I've, I'm now using it. Of course, if I was out in the field somewhere, I'd use my iOptron Skyguider Pro and I'd have a slightly different modified setup than I have right here. But this, I'm, I'm, I'm home and I can just wheel it in and out real quickly and it's all ready to go. And as I said, I've had no problems with the cords getting in the way. I've done Meridian flips and all that jazz, so everything's working out well. And I've got a lot of interesting projects that I'm doing, wide field projects that are, seem to be working out pretty well with this setup. And as a matter of fact, just uh, on a side note, I had it out the other night and the wind was blowing. Um, geez, it was 20 mile an hour gusts or 30 mile an hour gusts. And this thing, the tracking on this was superb because this is only a 200 millimeter can Canon camera lens on here with my Atlas Pro. And if I had my edge on here, boy, the winds would be knocking it all over the place. But this thing didn't even touch it. I, 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 I swear I can image with a in a hurricane and I'd be fine with this with this setup. Okay, anyways, that's all I have for you, and we'll see you later.